been told uh, you are closed since 18 of March? We are not closed. Ah. We are not closed. We don't accept visitors. But museum is not about visitors. Museum is about collections, uh, keeping collections, studying collections, presenting collections. Presenting, you can present collection just inviting visitors or you can present them online. From For a week, we are presenting our collections online only. Beginning with 10.30, the transmission begins, six it ends. As usual, museum is presenting, making excursions, transmissions, uh, lectures, and so on. So it's very important philosophical thing. The situation shows that to everybody that museum is much more than just taking visitors. It's, even with visitors, museum does, does exist. Even without tourists, museum does exist. You must not uh, count on the, have it in the main main thing, number of visitors. Quality of presenting collection is the main thing. Yes, but you, if I... Result. If we I'm, don't accept visitors. We have, in this week, we had more than 4 million visitors online, which is more than we have in a year. In this week only? Yes. Wow, online. that's huge. Because of, well, the new, is, because of the new online five-hour presentation? Yes, we have, because not a five-hour five hour presentation is a small piece of all what we are doing. Today in the morning we had so we began our excursions in Italian. Then they come, the Chinese excursions will come. Everything which Hermitage was doing before is doing now online. Excursions, excursions, every year, every day we have special visit to the reserves of Hermitage. Uh, today in the evening we have another big uh, concert of dancing uh, ballet in Hermitage Theatre without visitors and so on. Everything goes on, only visitors are sitting in their homes. So, but it means you have a guide who shows all the Italian collection, all the Rembrandt, all of the museum, with a camera? No. Yeah? No, not me. Well, my colleagues, my colleagues, the curators and keepers and uh, guides are showing it, all the things in different ways. So it's, uh, uh, you know, there is, was always a dream of the curators a museum without visitors, because as you know, for the curator and keeper, they want to be alone with the objects, and so they are. There was always the dream of visitors of Hermitage, how to get to the Hermitage without standing in the queue for hours. Yeah, now, but the thing is, when you see, no but when you see a Rembrandt for real, and when you see a Rembrandt on your computer, it's not the same. It is not the same, but... Most of the people, everybody knows it, but most of the people don't understand it. Now, now we'll make them understand it. And most for, for to, be, to see the Rembrandt in real, you must before see it on computer. So when you come to see that picture, you must understand a little bit more than the normal tourists understand. So we have an opportunity to learn people to look at art and to really to make this difference between the real thing and pictures on computer, in the book, on whatever and to understand how complicated everything is. Because before looking at normal Rembrandt, you have to understand the many layers of the senses and content which exists in Rembrandt's paintings. So we have that opportunity just to prepare people to the real paintings. So it's a new policy that you guide people online? Yes, it's, we now use it. was always was existing. We always had a lot of activities online. Now we have to put more uh, effort into this. We have can put more money into this. Now we uh, are changing the criteria. People begin to understand the number of the visitors. People are including also the Minister of Finance. This number of visitors is not the main criteria of the success. Quality of presentation is must be uh, kind of judged and so on. So we are now using this all modern technology to, well, add more to what we are doing uh, usually. And we, when we have don't have the can't show the real art, so then we can make different tricks with computer. Before, and when everything was open, well, this computer was not interesting even for us. And now uh, it is interesting for us. And so uh, you began this new policy since you you closed physically the museum since yeah. the eighteen. Even before this, we have seen that it, things are moving into this line. Uh, we have, well, we can say maybe we have. I've been thinking about this year ago when we agreed with uh, Apple, made the film with Apple. 
because it's exactly the thing which has done exactly for this situation. Five hours. So have, have you seen it? Yes, it's really good, I think. Yeah, well, fantastic. And now we're going to have this five hours. We're not going to have this five hours. It's exactly a film for, well, meditation, for a very, like, you know, uh, like slow reading. The books must be read slowly. Uh, so that slow looking at the museum, so it came fantastically in time. Also, frankly speaking, we didn't know that coronavirus will come. Of course. We're so, but, but when, when did you launch this project with Apple? Well, I think it was, was a year and a half before something. We had a lot of discussions because it's not a very usual thing. Yes, for but sure. It was, but that was done very quick after we made all the arrangements and decided that we will do it. And what do you imagine for the future now, when uh, all this crisis will be finished? What will be, what will, what will be the new priorities for the museum? I think now we have to decide, because we don't know now. Now we use everything we can to make a new kind of living, so we must see what, what will be for the future, but we still, well, I think we don't know. One thing is very important, you must keep the international cooperation, because the main danger now of all this is the international cooperation. We are in permanent contact. Hello? Hello, I'm sorry, there was a technical call. Yeah. Uh, we are in contact with all the museum directors all over the world, but there is a situation. We have some of our objects in Italian museums. We have to prolong the exhibitions, and we, so we have some uh, prints in um, Paris and Versailles. They can't move. We have exhibition from uh, British Museum, Assyria Reliefs in Hermitage. They can't move. So we will solve all these problems, but for the future, we have to well, understand and explain to everybody we must keep all these exchanges going because there will be a temptation not to make exhibitions that sit like with, in general, I'm afraid this will be isolation of the countries. Yes. So we have to fight, we have to fight this temptation which certainly will come. And there, yes, and there's a, a danger of nationalism also, right? It's not nationalism, it is all just trying to think about yourself before you think about the, your neighbor. It's, it's a human problem in general. And uh, so, how do you imagine the future of Hermitage? Her the Hermitage is financed 100% by the state? No. Hermitage is uh, financed 50% by the state. And we now made a change in the constitution, which had a special line about culture, that the culture is the symbol, unique symbol of the nation, and the culture must be uh, protected and uh, defended by the, st the state. It was never before the Constitution, which is obligation. And this current situation shows that we can't live, and no museum can't live without the state subsidies. Now we can't have, don't have visitors. We have been getting half of our income from the visitors and different kinds of activities and services. Now it's out. We stay with half of our budget, uh, which will be something like $35 million. Mm, a year? Uh, state, state subsidy. Yeah, yeah. State subsidy. Another half, also 35, is now well, non-existent. So we have to, first we have to keep this state subsidy, and then we have to invent new ways of earning money. So what could be the new ways? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'd like, like to have some advice. I still don't know. Yeah, it's difficult, right? I, I, it's very difficult. Have you seen what the Met, the Met said about the fact that they are going to close until July? The Met in New York? Yes. But, well, think... Uh, one thing which we are doing and keeping it long, we, are, we don't uh, sack our stuff. We don't economize. We are trying to do everything what we can do and we are planning to do. We now we now we uh, don't receive visitors. We still don't have the full quarantine like in Italy. People can move, so the curators do work. Now we have one week holidays announced by the president. Well, we don't work, but after this we will see what will happen. I think we must. The main thing is to discuss what we show to the people. And our economic situations are, well, uh, are friendly with Matt. Matt is very rich. We are not so rich, but I think we will. Everybody has to use 
uh, the money we have, the possibilities we have, and the possibility of society and the state to go on producing what we produce. Yeah, but half of the budget less is a lot, huh? Yes, it is a lot. But, well, uh, you know, uh, 25 years ago when I became director, our budget was uh, 70 times smaller than now. <laughs> so, uh, we, we know we lived in a situation where there is no money. So, the situation changed. We managed to find a way. So, it's difficult, but it's not for the first time. And for the future of the exhibition and all that, what do you imagine? Well, I think this what is very important. We have to make it proper. Also, using you and all the journalists, using this to explain people, the authorities and the people who have money and the corporation, that exhibitions must go on. We must have the exchanges. Now, we have a big list of the exhibitions which are postponed. Not nothing is nothing is taken out of the schedule. Or postponed. We are doing now for this three four months new exhibitions from our own reserves. Now we are preparing a big exhibition about uh, women artists in Hermitage. Uh, mm. We have a big collection. We have all the best women artists in Hermitage. So now when we don't can't get the exhibition from of uh, uh, contemporary art, which has been planning and uh, Mark Queen exhibition, which was planned for May, it will be postponed. We'll have women in uh, Hermitage collection, women artists.